When I first started practice back in 1970, 75, oh, 75 is when I started in San Antonio. Prior to that, I was in the U.S. Navy. When I started practice in 1975, cataract patients were operated in the hospital and they typically stayed two or three days in the hospital for cataract surgery. And that's what I did when I started practice. That's what we did. I started looking at the hospital bills for my patients who had cataract surgery. I thought that the hospital bills were excessive uh, and that they were not fair. Of course, the reason is the hospital uh, averages out the cost so that they, they charge patients who have insurance so that they can cover the patients who don't. But be that as it may, I didn't think that was fair to my patients. And so I decided that I would start uh, modifying things. So the first thing I did was to shorten the hospital stay. And I'd knock it down a day and then I'd check the bills. Bills still stayed very high. Then I decided there's no reason to stay in the hospital at all. We'll just do the surgery and I'll send the patient home. Because there was some evidence by that time that that was safe. So that's what I did. The patient would come to the hospital. I would do the surgery. The patient would go home. I looked at the bill. The bill was still too high in my opinion. I said, we've got to get the patients out of the hospital. And that's when I decided to build my own ASC, or Ambulatory Surgery Center. And that center opened in 1980. And that was the first ASC for eye surgery in Texas that was approved by Medicare. There was another one in Dallas, but uh, it wasn't Medicare approved. So mine was approved by Medicare and we started doing outpatient surgery and uh, outpatient surgery and that's the 800 McCullough office and we still operate there all these years later it was a, it was a very good idea and the cost for doing the surgery there is much lower than in the hospital by about a half